I wonder how hard it was to implement like essentially a whole new reality into the game or if they just kind of like made the collision randomly generate. Oh yeah, how do I deal with these guys again? I didn't attack his soul in any way, hold on. Oh, he's got one of these things, okay. All right, all right, I remember, I remember. Hold on. There we go. I remember. That it. Uh, I think the most annoying part about Umbral might be getting out of it. Maybe. Oh gosh, who is that? I just tried to crouch like I was playing Elden Ring. Ah! What? That did not hit me. What? This guy looks scary. Ow! Ah! How many attacks has this guy got? Uh oh! Got him with the parry. I got no stamina. Surprised I got that. Oh, get him. I broke his posture. Nice. That was cool. There's just something up there. Thanks, game. I love useless things. I see random fire in the sky. Hi -ya. Okay. Still trying to gauge how the stamina exactly works in this game. Because it can be very different. Okay. Got a bit of a different enemy up here. I wonder if I can sneak up on him. Staggering and backstabbing. Deplete an enemy posture dramatically by approaching them from the back and delivering a fully charged heavy. Okay. When an enemy's posture is depleted, they can be staggered with an either a charged R2, parry, or kick. Press R1 to... Okay, so it's essentially Bloodborne's backstab. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. Basically the exact same. Oh. See ya, bro. Dang, dude. That looks like, um, Isengard. Ooh, okay. Oh, I see you. You can't hide from me. Unripe berries. I will figure out what all this is eventually. I feel like there's a big enemy around here somewhere. What's up, bro? Oh, gosh. You know, I can do that too. Ah, oh, stupid! I'm not special. I wanna get you. Wait, what does this do? I guess that'll teach me eventually. Vestige seed. Does that mean I can make like my own checkpoint almost? I can lower that somehow, probably. Oh gosh, oh that's a checkpoint. Cool. Interesting choice for a checkpoint. I'm for it though. Do I want to do the same route of Dark Souls and level up till I got a good amount of help and endurance? I like to keep them around the same level, but hard to tell with this game. Open this. The gate does not budge. Of course it doesn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there are moths here. Ooh. That's right, I have to be an umbral.
Dude, that's so cool. Um. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Nope. Nope. I have betrayed Elliard. No idea what that means. Oh, uh, this is a memory thing. So, not good things happened here. Is that why there are a bunch of arms hanging from the ceiling? Probably. Why do I have like a multiplier of 1.1 now? What what changed? I just noticed there's eyes looking at me in those little co cocoons. What's going on here? I thought I heard it. Oh, hi. Well, I was already here. guys are confusing me. Yeah, so you can double tap circle to roll, which is actually kind of cool. Got him. I don't think I came down this way before. Oh boy. Gosh dang it, dude. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. Oh, you have a running hour too. That's cool. Still no ranged attack though. Oh, hi. Ow. Green guy behind me. Got him. Oh, hi. Where's bro going? Got him. Oh, come on. I'm not pushing R1 anymore. Why? I still don't get what getting rid of those does exactly, but why not? Oh my gosh, I keep pushing the wrong freaking buttons. Holy ward. Um.
What's up, bro? You carry the lamp long enough and you'll see history repeat over and over. If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself should you fall, make use of this. Vest seed. Vibrates and emits a special color when close to an umbral flower bed. When you set on an umbral flower bed, select your umbral lamp with down to raise it with L2 and hold triangle to grow a vestige seedling. A vestige seedling serves as a point of revival should you die in umbral. Cool. Ooh. Very cool, very cool. Awesome. Also, I think these give me uh, souls. Not enough to I think it where it gives me enough to level up again, maybe. We'll see though. Cool, it did give me one more. Barely. Do endurance again. Cool. Yeah, I assume that gate's not gonna let me through. So I'm just gonna go around. Dude, that is so cool. Very God of War-like scenery. Whoa, this place looks awesome. Okay, there's bros fighting up there. That's cool. Ah, I'm on fire. Minor fire salts. What the heck is happening? Oh boy, another one of these guys. What? I parried you, you, though. I even got the effect. Oh, my guy can heal. Miss me, stupid. Freaking dummy. Oh, my gosh. Freaking wood. Parried. I guess parrying them doesn't... Instantly give you a stagger. You just need to break their posture. It does a lot of posture damage. What's up, bro? That was close. Don't want to go that way quite yet. Might have to, though. Screw it. Pick it up. Rusty Cutter. I'm on fire. Munition pouch and more of those. I'm trying to keep an eye out for those moths they were telling me about because I feel like they can be decently hard to miss or easy to miss. This is a boss coming up, which it definitely is. I'm going to go back and rest. I got no heals. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Oh, holy Aureus. By your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days. To lay bare the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters. So we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, bearing what was not yours to receive. Are you sure? A betrayal made flesh. I think you're just jealous. And one I cannot brook. You have a lightsaber? Stop. I blocked, did I not? Am I an umbral? Do I get revived into umbral? Brother. How, how, what are these? I was gonna say, how many times can I die? Poor substitute indeed. Ah. 
Oh. That's a pretty cool transition. I got it. Okay, I thought that would head in a straight line. Brother. This is a first boss, dude. Technically second, but we don't talk about it. Dang, you're cool. Oh, and great. Now you can do Melania things. Oh, she can do moves from her first. Ow, first stage. What is this? That scenery is so cool, dude. No way that hit me. Ah, that was home. What? That was good. That was close, though. That was close. Brother. Who thought giving her a freaking Lady Maria attack was a good idea? Brother. I never see that attack coming. Brother. No, she did a third one. I didn't think she would. No, she did it so soon again, dude. Honestly, this stage seems harder than the actual second stage. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. Might shoot. I'm out of stamina. Where are they going? Middle right. A delayed one, dude. I'm only doing one attack. I'm limiting myself. What is this? Delayed one. Wanna oh delayed again, dude. You devious. Where are they at? Hey, GG, boy. Don't get back up. Okay. Ooh. Oh, cutscene after it? Walk away? Get him. Oh, no, there is a second stage, isn't there? <laughs> What is happening? Oh no. Are you good now? I'm so confused. So we'll see her later. Got it. Brothers and sisters. You honor us and all who came before you with your sacrifices. While I wish they were unnecessary, my wishes will not ease your suffering, but I pray my sorcery does. So I got a key, I think, and more umbral stirring. Cool.
Cool and epic. This serves as an actual lamp, too. Oh, that's scary. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, is this my hub? I'm guessing this is my hub. Welcome, Dark Crusader. Very cool. Vestige of Ethrig. Ooh, they know how to do a hub theme. They know how to do a hub theme. How many levels I got? Just two. I think I'm gonna keep my radiance and my strength around the same level as well. That way, when we get some radiance stuffs, then we can do cool things. I had no doubt in my assessment of you as one worthy of the monumental task which lies before us, Crusader. My name is Dunmire, and I am an exactor of the Dark Crusaders, the holy order of which you are now an honored member. The Church of Orion Radiance has assigned to me the duty of purging Mornstead of its Rogar blight, and ensuring the ancient tyrant Adir knows no liberation from his enduring imprisonment. While the schism between the Church and Judge Cleric is of long standing, she and her hallowed sentinels, now perverted, did at least construct Mornstead's radiant beacons, which have prevented Adir's return for centuries. But now, we stand corrupted and on the verge of collapse. It is to these five beacons you must turn your eye. Use the Umbral Lamp to cleanse them of Adir's destructive influence and deliver salvation to a world on the brink of perdition. Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no quarter, so remember, though Aureus' mercy is without limit, yours should not be. Oh, it compares it to my weapon. That's actually kind of nice. I think my weapon is going to be pretty good for a little while. So I'll buy that. Wow, it doesn't actually confirm it with you or anything. It just buys it. And I think I want to get this too. Uh, aren't you the lady I just fought? By Aureus' divine will, I live again. It's a miracle. And to think I raised my sword to you, when all alone you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Interesting. Forgive me, Lampbearer. I'm Pieta of the Hallowed Sentinels. And as Aureus sustains me, so too will I sustain you. Whether by making manifest your potential or through my healing blood, contained within the Sanguinarix you carry. Should you find any saintly quintessences, bring them to me, and they can bolster the power of my blood further still. The beacons must be cleansed, the hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through whatever is to come, fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. Our holy work continues, Lampbearer. Oh, I actually do have one. What do I need for it? The saintly quintessence. Okay. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. That was epic. You were my so blacksmith? The exactors found himself a new instrument. As exactors are wont to do. And given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall, 
And yet now here you are, lamp bearer. Well, it seems I was right to doubt the value of a dark crusader's work. I wonder if their dialogue changes based on what class you picked. I'm Stoneman, captain of the Fidelis, a group of good men and women who've made a stand against the madness which has possessed the rest of the hallowed sentinels. We made a vow to restore our order to its former glory, whatever the cost to ourselves. And by Judge Cleric's grace, we'll honor that vow. That heretical umbral lamp and the Dark Crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times. As are you, it would seem. Perhaps our aims will align further. Or perhaps not. Got more folks over here. Look at you. A Dark Crusader, a lamp bearer, and a revenant to boot. Aren't you the multifaceted one? Well, we Fidelis aren't as fortunate. We tend to stay dead when we die. And Aureus knows enough of us have done just that. Anyway, like Nathaniel says, you keep looking back, you don't see the blade coming at your front. We set ourselves a task and we have to finish it. I recognize his voice actor. Let's watch a step out there. Mornstead is a land awash in blood, both deserved and undeserved alike. Let's watch a step, Mornstead. Thanks, bro. That lamp you've got there is heresy, stranger. But then, seems it's getting harder to tell what is and what ain't nowadays. Ah, <laughs> oh, strange times. But in the end, there's right and there's wrong. And that never changes. And I hope for both our sakes you know the difference. Whoa. But if in doubt, you heed the captain. He's never steered me wrong. Much as he might think otherwise. Whoa. Whoa. Hi. Whoa. What the heck, dude? What's up? The lamp must be born until the favored child makes themselves known. Only then. Oh, he has my lamb. Carrion of creation finally return to the void. I'm guessing this is the way to progress. Yes, sir. Oh, here's a guy. Is this the captain they were talking about? Dude, that's so cool. Uh, that's it, isn't it? Oh, the lamp of immortality and the genuine article, not a useless empty vessel like the one I saw that witless fool bumbling around with. I've learned a little since coming to Mornstead about that lamp and the awful mission to which it's attached. I hope you recognize that frightful burden for what it is. In truth, what's been done to you is downright cruel. Of course, some people are born into roles of tremendous responsibility. My name is Andreas of Ebb, esteemed scion of nobility, but far more than that, descendant of the great ruler Andanas himself, as proven by my family's book of lineage for one. That's right. Through my veins flows the blood of the legendary hero who defied Adir and the Rogar and saved the whole world, only to be betrayed and murdered by a common criminal. So you'll understand a man of my pedigree cannot simply stand idle while an unfortunate victim such as yourself remains shackled to such a grim fate. Give me the lamp, hmm? and let me shoulder your burden, friend. What say you? No? It saddens me to see you bring such agony down upon your own head. I hope you see sense and reconsider. Hmm, I think I'm good, bro. My offer stands. After all, what man of breeding would turn away from one so clearly in need? So you can give him the lamp, I assume, and do like a no death run, I think, or something like that, if that's something. I don't know. I feel like you need it, though, because of the whole umbral aspect of the game. Oh boy. Rafter level. 